players arguing at Milsim West events. The standard, no, I shot you, no, fuck you, I shot you first. Let me offer you this perspective. You're gonna spend money on camping gear, you're gonna spend money on food, you're gonna spend money on uh, travel, your gas and stuff like that. You're gonna spend time leaving but fruckingly early in the morning to drive to the venue. So I'm up in Sacramento. We usually leave like anywhere between four and seven in the morning, depending on what time we want to get there. If you work Friday, you're probably gonna take time off work. Are you gonna let some fucking sweaty shrugging their hits ruin that whole experience? Let me off let me float this by you. Don't play airsoft at Milsim West. Don't get that out of your head. You're not going to play airsoft you're gonna have a really cool experience with a group of new friends you're gonna make. Let me further float this by you. If you read the tax op, I want you to read the section on blank fire. What you're gonna see is not only do you have to go through a way more rigorous safety check-in, not only are you gonna to have to buy blank ammo, which is not cheap, calling a blank fire hit isn't mandatory. Let's say I'm a blank fire player and you are 25 feet in front of me in open ground, like we can see each other direct line of sight. I raise my muzzle, I fire three to five rounds off. You can, per rule, stand there and laugh at me and flip me off and go, ha ha, I don't have to call blank fire hits, meh, and then just dump me with your BB gun. That is allowed. Blank fire hits do not have to be called at a Milson West event. Typically they're going to because we're all basically cosplaying and LARPing and reenacting. So in the spirit of things and in the, in the, in the spirit of the LARPy experience, guys will call their blank fire hits. But for the tax op, you don't have to. Imagine being a blank fire player, spending all this money and knowing that you're just there to make noise and have an experience. But every time you pull the trigger, that player can just go and that's allowed per rule. Maybe not the middle finger part, but you understand the concept. Let's get back to the original issue. You put three to five rounds in some fucking sweaty, normie, peasant muggle airsofter, and they don't call it. Who fucking cares, bro? You've got, you rucked in, you got schlacked at night, or you rolled some other faction in their PB at three in the morning, you're having a blast. If someone's gonna shrug, fuck them, let them shrug. They're just a bunch of sweaty airsoft muggles anyway, bro. If you wanna have a phenomenal, unique experience, go to Milsim West. If you wanna play airsoft, don't buy your ticket.